a local musician, is joining us this morning to tell us all about his music career and his original song. song. Sean, good morning. Thanks for joining us on Hometown Living. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, Sean, so you have your guitar yes. sitting right here and you're a performer, you do your own original music. So, you know, talk to us about, you know, your music career and how you got started. Well, I started, um, oh gosh, when I was about 12 years old, mm -hmm. that was when I really started singing started performing in choir and joined a band. Um, and it was just all over yeah. from there. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I caught the bug and I've been performing live now for 33 years. Wow. Um, all over the country, we've, uh, I've gotten to go out to Vegas a few times. Div performed all over the state of Texas, mm -hmm. all over the state of Indiana. We did 165 shows last year. Wow. And we're on course right now for about 180 shows this year. Sean, you're all over. Oh yes, my goodness. So what was it? You said you got the bug. Yes. But what was it that made you, you know, want to start and dive into this music? I think it was more about the stories. Um, the stories of how music touches people and how it's just, it's a universal language. I mean, whether you're sad or happy, grieving or celebrating there's yeah. a song for everything mm -hmm. and that's what's drawn me to music is the stories throughout the years yeah and so you mentioned stories so mm -hmm. what kind of stories do you like to you know tell with your music for me so the song that i wrote uh that i'll be performing is called my indiana home mm -hmm. and the story that i like to tell behind that is i was sitting over in elkhart at a friend's house last year and I realized that in 33 years of playing music, I had never written a song on my own. Wow. So I sat down and I started writing and I got through the first couple of lines and I looked at what I had written and I realized I was like, this is terrible. Oh, no. So, so I, I thought of something that a friend of mine told me many years ago. And he said, Sean, write about what you know. Mm. And for me, what I knew was growing, or growing up in a small farm town in central Indiana. Uh, called Lapel, Indiana, wow. surrounded by cornfields, mm -hmm. soybeans, just a little Mayberry town where people still wave at you and yeah. everybody knows your name. Mm -hmm. And I started writing about that. And over the next hour, it just kind of came together. Wow. And when I got home that day, I put it out on social media. And the response that I got back was just mind blowing. It was overwhelming. Really? Um, and we're up to over 800,000 downloads and views and streams on the song now. And um, the story is about, you know, when people listen to it, um, it just, it's so humbling mm -hmm. um, to think that something that that I wrote affects people and touches people like that. Yeah. So. And Sean, what was your first reaction when you noticed that your music, the original song was getting so many downloads and plays? Like, what was your first reaction? <laughs> what is going on <laughs> is how is this happening um i just it never dawned on me it mm -hmm. never occurred to me that a song could touch people like mm -hmm. that well a song that i wrote right. could touch people yeah. in that way so um the more it started happening the more it just made me want to sit down and start writing more and more music yeah and so we started doing that and mm -hmm. Uh, June 15th of this year, I'll be releasing my very first album. Wow. So. How was that like, you know, creating your first album, you know, that's about to come out? Like, it's, how is that? It's exciting. Um, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We, um, so there's going to be 10 songs on there. There'll be eight original songs. Um, and then there's going to be two cover songs. Um, one of the covers is called Statue of a Fool, which is an old uh, Jack Green, Ricky Van Shelton song that I've been singing for years. Mm -hmm. And the other one that I'm really excited about is, and I've looked at it, nobody's done this since Johnny Cash. Wow. Um, we're going to do a country cover of The Sound of Silence. Mm -hmm. So um, that's really exciting to be able to bring stuff like that to life, you know, to sit with a pen and paper and a guitar and play a song and to feel everything just come to life. Yeah. You know? It's, for me, it's 33 years in the making and you know, better late than never. Yeah. Well, Sean, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Hometown Living. And we're actually going to hear you perform your original song. Yes, ma'am. So that's exciting. All right. Check out your screen. You can hear Sean perform at the Corner Bar April 24th. For more information, you can visit his website at seanrichardsmusic.com or you can check him out on Facebook.